iOS 26 is already available for all iPhone users, or almost all since iOS 26 is available for iPhone 11 and newer. In today's video I'm going to show you 10 settings that need to be changed immediately after update. We'll talk about our security, our privacy, and features which quickly drain battery of your iPhone. In iOS 26 there are significantly more of them. Welcome to my channel and let's dive in. To find the first one, head to main settings on your iPhone, then select battery, and here scroll all the way down. Then select power mode. And here we see a new feature, adaptive power mode. It analyzes how we use the iPhone, that is when we need the battery to last longer. For example, if today we use our iPhone more and because of this it will discharge early, then you usually put it on charge, then this feature will automatically, for example, slightly reduce the brightness or close some background processes. And in this way the iPhone will not discharge before the time when you usually put it on charge. The advantage is that the phone will work longer on one charge, but the disadvantage is that, for example, the iPhone can sometimes reduce performance to save battery. This will not noticeable to you in normal tasks, but if you play heavy games, it may be noticeable. So if you don't play heavy games, you can turn on this feature, and your iPhone will work longer on one charge. Then in the upper left hand corner of the screen, tap back and select charging. Here I recommend choosing a battery charging limit up to 95%, since charging the phone to 100% wears out the battery of our iPhone faster. To do this, just drag this slider to 95%. And below you can see the feature clean energy charging. It helps reduce your carbon footprint by charging your iPhone when cleaner energy is available, usually when your iPhone is in a familiar place like at home, but you, if you unplug it early it might not be fully charged. So if it uh, not convenient for you, you can turn off this feature. After that in the upper left hand corner of the screen tap back, then tap back again, and here scroll down to privacy and security. Tap on that. After that scroll all the way down. And here you can see wired accessories. Tap on that. Here by default your iPhone is set to allow access to data if the iPhone is unlocked. But this is not safe. For example, if you connect your iPhone to a charger in a public place, scammers can get your data through the cable without your knowing. So it is better to choose ask for new accessories. Then, if a new device tries to connect to your phone to get data, you will see a notification, and you can decide if you want to allow this or not. Then tap back, and select here Analytics and Improvements. And here you can see feature Share iPhone and Watch Analytics. This feature sends information to developers about how we use our device. It drains our iPhone's battery faster and uses our internet traffic, so we turn this off. Then tap back, and below you can see Apple Advertising. Tap on that and turn off personalized ads. Then tap back, scroll all the way up, and select Location Services. Here scroll all the way down, and select System Services. Then scroll down to section Product Improvements, and turn off these four features. Because these four features collect information about our location and send it to developers, which also drains the battery faster and the more processes work in the background, the slower the iPhone works, so we turn them off. Further, tap back, tap back again and select tracking. Here we see a list of applications that can track your activity. To increase privacy we can disable all applications here, but it is better to disable this function altogether so that the applications cannot even try to get our permissions to track us. Tap Ask Apps to stop tracking. Next step, tap back, tap back to main settings, and after that select here General. Tap on that, then scroll down to Background App Refresh. 
This feature allows uh, apps update their content even when you are not using them, like a messenger preloading charts or a new app fetching articles. The downside is that this drain your battery and uses more mobile data, but even if you turn off for some apps, you will still get notifications. For example, if someone sends you a message, you will uh, uh, see it right away. The only difference is that the app may take a second to load fresh content when you open it. You can disable it for special apps uh, like uh, shopping apps, games or uh, ones you are rarely use or switch it to Wi-Fi only. Just tap on background app refresh and select here Wi-Fi to save battery and internet traffic. And to find next feature tap back, tap back to main settings and select here accessibility. Then select display and text size. And here we can see feature reduce transparency. And when this feature is disabled, like mine, the text darkness and blur when scrolling up or down the menu. But not everyone like this and it also uses slightly more battery. If we enable this feature, the text simply disappear as it did previously in iOS 18. Now I'm going to show you how it works. Let's turn it on. And after that, if uh, I'm scrolling up, you can see that the text is simply disappears as it did previously in iOS 18. And the last feature which I want to show you in this video, to find it head to main settings, then select camera, after that scroll all the way down and here you can see feature lens cleaning hints, turn this on. This feature will be useful for those who often take photos or shoot videos. Now if your camera lens is dirty, you will see notification and wipe it before taking a photo. And the most important thing, don't judge your iPhone's battery life immediately after updating. During the first week, battery drain may be higher than usual. This is completely normal. The system and apps need time to optimize and update for iOS 26. Therefore, it is also a good idea to update all your apps after the system update. To do this, just open App Store, then tap on your profile photo and go to Updates. After that, tap Update All. That's all I wanted to share with you. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss new helpful videos. Thanks for watching.